Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this new video. This time I want to go over vulnerability assessment with Qualys Community Edition as you see here. If you follow my channel, you know that I have created many videos using different vulnerability assessment tools. We have talked about OpenVAS, Nessus, we have talked about Sniper, we have talked about like new projects like Magini, so on and so forth. Today I want to use or I want to cover um, Qualys Community Edition. On this video, I am not going to show you how to uh, sign up for Qualys. That is a simple process. Just Google it, Qualys com com Community Edition, and then follow the, uh, the prompts. The uh, setup takes minutes. The only thing you need to provide is a business email to get registered for that. And once you do that within minutes, you're going to receive a confirmation email, a welcome email, and they're going to tell you what quality, Qualys Community Edition is going to be used for. Uh, you're going to be able to, to monitor up to 16 assets, scan up to 16 internal assets and three external IP addresses, scan one web URL, deploy scanners, scan visibility, so on and so forth, you know, like pretty much. Uh, similar to what you're going to be able to do with other vulnerability assessment solutions. What I like about Qualys, Qualys Community Edition is that you're going to be able to perform web application scanning in the same console as the vulnerability management that you can deploy. It. So today in this video, we're going to cover web application scanning and not the other functions. If you're interested in the other functions, drop a comment and then we can see if we create a video for the others. So with, uh, <clears throat> uh, with that in mind, uh, when you sign up to Qualys for the first time and you're going to come to this page, this is going to be the vulnerability management solution, you're going to see that you're going to have the complete uh, dashboard that you would have if you had the commercial version. However, the fact that you have the complete dashboard does not mean you're going to be able to use everything in there. You know, again, this is what they're going to give us access to using this. But if you have a small network or if you want to get, if you're in a pickle and you need to run some type of vulnerability assessment uh, quickly, you can do this and get yourself out of the hole. To do the um, web application scan, you would click on the menu, as you could see right here, there's a, a down pointing arrow and you would go to web application scanning and let me just do a quick review about web application and scanning and regular scanning so let me bring the, uh, this other chart in here so we can cover a couple of topics so when it comes to vulnerability assessment usually uh, not usually back in the days vulnerability assessment was mostly uh, uh, designed or run against uh, the infrastructure, right? Like network devices, uh, desktop devices, servers, with um, the traditionally all this was in, in, in on-prem, right? Like you had access to it. But things have transitioned and now we have hybrid environments and mostly or all cloud environments and things are in the cloud. So now the, uh, the uh, things when it comes to the uh, the infrastructure, even though it is important to run vulnerability assessments against the, infra the infrastructure devices, your uh, the operating system running on your servers, computers, the different network devices, switches, routers, uh, printers, um, anything that connects to the network, it's good to run vulnerability assessment against those devices, but it is also as important or I would say maybe more important to run vulnerability assessments against web apps because most web apps are going to be publicly available, right? And depending on the configuration, it may be that they're going to have a connection to the, to the back end of your infrastructure. So these, the web apps for, for many years, uh, security professionals, especially like if they didn't have a dedicated security professional, 
you know, if it was maybe the network administrator or the sysadmin doing everything, they were not going to pay attention to this. They have their hands full with everything they were doing. So when it comes to running vulnerability assessments, you have the regular scanning, right? Like the scope is usually networks and network devices, but the application is scanning, you're going to be scanning the web apps and API. Usually the tools that you use for regular vulnerability assessments when it comes to the um, uh, the ones on-prem, it's you're going to be using like open source, Nmap, Nessus, Qualys, uh, OpenVAS, so on and so forth. Anything pretty much that is going to focus, as I said right here, on open ports and patches, and it's going to have some type of connection to uh, the um, to the uh, recent vulnerabilities. And the tools that you're going to use for uh, web application scanning are different tools, right? If you have, for instance, Nessus, uh, Nessus, I it doesn't have an, it, it has an, an, an agent that you can use application scanning, but you need to pay for that license, I believe. The good thing about Qualys is that it offers at least one um, agent that you can use for uh, application uh, scanning. Uh, so when it comes to application scanning, you can use tools as Qualys, Burp, and, and Zap. And I have created uh, a couple of videos on Zap, and I'm going to keep creating videos on our WhatsApp. So the tools that you need for application scanning are different. And again, the focus area of application scanning is also different. If you look at this focus area on the regular scanning, it's pretty much like have the system being patched, system and applications, uh, <coughs> major um, configurations, right? Do you have open ports? Uh, what kind of services are running on the ports? Are those services vulnerable? Whereas when it comes to application scanning, we're going to be checking for application logic, input validation, sessions, any, you know, possible uh, vulnerable uh, APIs that they're being called or running on the application. The uh, typical vulnerability founds are weak protocols and patch systems, default credentials. Um, and when it comes to application scanning on the tools that you're going to find, SQL injection, scroll, um, cross-site scripting, insecure APIs. And you're going to have different testing approaches, right? So that is an overall of what is an application scan versus a regular scan. And keep in mind that you need to use different tools for that. So with that being said, let me come here. So when you come to um, the application, the web application, and now this menu may look different depending on when you watch this video because they constantly keep updating the interface. So at the time of this video, this is how it looks like. So the first thing you need to do when you're using Qualys Community Edition Web Application Scanning, you need to add the application. So you, you will go to application and from here, let us do is magic and the setup is super simple. It's gonna take minutes. So you're gonna create a new web app and remember, you only have with quality, quality Community Edition, you only have one web app that you can scan. Just click on Add New. And uh, as you could see here, you're going to type basic information for this. You're going to type the name, uh, my test web app. And you're going to type the uh, URL of the web app that you want to point to, right? And you can have some information right here if you hover over the eye. Now, remember, a website could be a web app, or you could have a web app running on a website, or you could have a web app that is not a website. So in this case, for this example, my test is going to be the website that was designed or one of the many test sites that I have for testing purposes. So you're going to type the URL of the web app. In my case, it's going to be a domain name. And then you click on uh, next. 
and then you have more options you know if you want to crawl some pages if you want to exclude some pages this is customizable for my test i'm gonna leave all the default options i'm gonna click next and then you're gonna have the option of selecting the uh, scanner appliance i am using qualis community edition on the cloud i don't have any appliance so i'm going to use external and then you have the uh, uh, cancel scan options as you could see here you're going to have multiple um, options for that it's up to you progressive scanning you can hover over to show you the progressive scanning and, and it will add to our latest capabilities blah 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 you could leave it as the default if you want if you if you have a complex configuration where you want to run behind the proxy you could do that i'm going to do next and then you have options of uh, configuring the type of scan do you want to do authentication uh, records or you know header injections api endpoint definitions if you know what these settings are you can customize them now something to keep in mind is that with uh, uh, qualis uh, community edition you can run authenticated or unauthenticated scanned and I've talked about the differences between authenticated and unauthenticated scan on a previous video on, um, I forgot, I believe that it was either Nessus or OpenBus. Anyway, the point is that you can run authenticated. If you run an unauthenticated scan, the scan is going to be more through because the system is going to be able to authenticate against the different authentication points to continue testing what's behind that authentication to continue testing the code, to continue testing for best practices. So it's up to you if you want to do that. I'm going to leave it at all the settings as the default. And I'm going to create the web application and launch the scan. Now, when you launch the scan, you have the options of doing discovery. And discovery scan simply means that it's just going to look at the application and it's going to find things and it's going to categorize and catalog things. There's going to be no vulnerability assessment against that. I would advise you to do the vulnerability, but you have to keep something in mind. When you do the vulnerability, the system is going to take action and it's going to try to test for things that it finds. And there is a possibility that testing for vulnerabilities using a uh, web application scanning is going to have an effect on the application itself and something could happen. So just keep that in mind when you're running, make sure that you do it on a test environment. And if you're doing that in production, that at least you are aware of what could happen if something is, you know, start acting out. Then, uh, you know, just type the basic information, click next. Okay, so we have the options of scan settings. Again, because we're using Qualys Community Editions, our options are limited. I'm leaving this all as the default, but if I had the commercial version, I would create different profiles and I would go deeper into it. Uh, the application scanner. So at this point, I'm just going to click on, you can look at the proxy settings, DNS override, progressive scans. As you could see, we saw these settings before. Uh, and you can have a notification sent once the scan is completed. Something to keep in mind is that these scans with Quali Community Editions, they do take a very long time. That may be one of the ways of trying to force people into paying and signing up for the commercial version, but they do take a very long time. Sometimes it may take, you know, like a day to complete, depending on the application, of course. Then I'm going to click next. Okay. Okay. So I have to uh, create a, a profile. Select that profile. Let me come here. And the profiles options that I have are simple. I have the authentication test. I have the initial was options and I have uh, log, sh log for show options. I am going to do the initial was options and then you select whichever works for you. If we're going to do the authentication, I'm going to click add and I'm going to click next. I'm here ready and I'm going to click on launch scan. 
And this is going to scam. So something that you have to keep in mind is that Qualys Community Edition is going to have different modules. Remember, what you're going to see on the web application uh, is going to have its own um, it's going to have its own uh, module for this. And then you could switch to your, as you could see, this is going to say that it's going to start running at one point. Uh, it's scheduled, right? And you can switch over to a vulnerability management and you're going to be able to see things for vulnerability management. And if you're interested in that, we can create a video for that. And again, so this is how Qualys uh, Community Edition works or scans web applications. I personally I believe in using multiple tools and I use Qualys Community Edition when I can, but I rely more on always Zap because it is a project specifically created for uh, web applications and it's broader in terms of things that it looks for, what it searches, but it's good to have tools for verifications of findings. So when you have a tool, you always need to run the same scan or not all, which is keep that in mind, against another tool to verify the findings that you have. So if you found this information useful, all I ask you is for you to click on the like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and if you have a question, you could leave it in the comment sections. I promise that I try my best to answer. I don't always do, because as you, I have a life. But thank you for watching, and I will talk to you on the next video.